All right, so we're gonna go ahead and check out our winter garden and see what's growing on. Growing on? Yes, right. What does that mean? Growing on, what's growing on? Like what's going on, but you said growing on? Yeah. <laughs> Carrots growing right here, and let me pull one just to show you. Oh, look at that! All right, un poquito berry, <laughs> very tiny carrot. So we're gonna let that grow a little longer. And you can eat these carrot tops, right? Yes, I've... you can eat them kind of like you can make a pesto out of them. Use them kind of like parsley. They have that kind of a uh... pepperish. Similar herby, herbaceous flavor. Cool. Then we have kale, we have lettuce, we have bunching onions that we need to harvest, and underneath here we actually have Jerusalem artichoke or sunchokes. So let's see if we can excavate one. There we go. Cool. So, Those are delicious, kind of like potato. Yeah, they're actually sweet, uh, really good for diabetics because they contain a form of sugar called inulin that's easily um, broken down by the body. Oh, cool. All right, so the students will harvest that. Mm, cilantro? That's cilantro, yep. Mm, looking really good. That lettuce, oh, I gotta try it. I just gotta try it. So this was a replant, so, oh, how is it? Oh, it's so buttery. Buttery and soft? So soft, like, just mouth to your mouth. Nice. Uh, chard. Mm. And uh, we have beets. Let's see if we can, oh, yeah, this, this beet is ready to go. So we can harvest the beet tops and they cook very well as greens. They kind of have a sweet, uh, sweet taste to them are really delicious. I think I like it better than um, than other forms of sautéed greens. Like collard greens, you like yeah. better? Okay. Yeah, it's time to pick them beets. Time to pick them beets. Time to pick the beets, beets, time beets, time beets, beets, beets. Whoa! So Look at that. It's a beet. Can I wash it off and take a bite? Oh, and. This one has much of the same. Oh, you don't pick the cow. Oh, gentle, Jay. Don't do the gentle. Yeah, you want to cut it. You want to try it? Eat it. How is it? <laughs> so here we have we have a bok choy that's going to seed. So we're gonna let it grow to seed. We've remove all the extra bok choy that was going bad but we left a few so that they will produce pods which we can harvest for their seeds and uh we'll have seeds for next year more bunching onions we have collards here is this radish mm. those, more that's lettuce beets? back there lettuce is back this? there Ooh, and this kale looks amazing is this radish, radish? that is yummy is beets a radish oh We're so excited that these winter crops are doing so well and we look forward to another video where we show you how we cook these delicious healthy greens 
It's amazing what these two beds have produced and how much food they generate for everyone. This winter garden has really taught us that you don't need so much land in order to produce food for your family. And so I hope that these videos are encouraging and give you some ideas, especially since spring is right around the corner. Perfect gardening time. All right, we'll see you guys in our next video and please share, like, and subscribe and leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Bye.